Hey, it's Elizabeth Brown, the Kitchen Vixen. Good morning, and I'm making some McGregor-inspired muffins because yesterday I ran into Conor McGregor right outside my side door. I thought if I run into him again, or maybe his people, I'll give them some muffins on my way out the door today for running a bit and going to the gym. Here's some high protein muffins and gluten free per usual. I'm always modifying my recipes based on whatever I have on hand. I'm gonna start with a cup and a half of protein powder, two cups of oat and coconut flour combined. I ground some oats in my coffee grinder, and then because the muffins won't rise because it's not a traditional gluten free flour mixture blend, and because the gluten is missing, we need to add half a cup of cornstarch and a quarter cup of tapioca flour. Then we still need the xanthan gum, which I guess gets, makes it sticky. And if you ever get this stuff on your hands when your hands are wet, it's like really gooey, it's so icky. But I'm only using a teaspoon, yes, one teaspoon of xanthan gum. I have a teaspoon of baking powder in the canister, half a teaspoon of sea salt, I'm putting all my dry ingredients in one bowl first. I have about a teaspoon of combination of cinnamon and allspice, a quarter cup of ground chia seeds, half a cup of organic brown sugar or sucanat, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And I'm standing on my little sliders today. I'm gonna to take these to the gym with me so that I'll add them to my workout. But I got these little slider things because I've always wanted to try, like I wanna do some more abdominal work because I'm, speaking of muffins, I've got my own little muffin. And I know it's not much, but if anybody, if you're used to having a really flat stomach and you just feel this, it's everyone's goal to not have this, anything around their middle. So got to work on it. So I'm going for a run today too, before I go to the gym. Mix up the dry ingredients and my wet ingredients, some eggs. I have four eggs, my Vital Farms organic pasture raised eggs from chickens that live a good life, that eat a good diet, that get sunshine. So they're higher in vitamin D, higher in omega-3 fats, higher in the yellow carotenoids, zeaxanthin and lutein that are good for our eyes. Lots of extra nutrients because those chickens live a good life and good energy because the chickens are hopefully happy. I have about a cup of Greek yogurt and my four eggs. And then I have about a cup of soy milk, but I'm gonna add that at the end because I wanna see how much liquid to dry ingredient ratio I have. And now the muffins can be really moist because I mentioned this before, but we basically just dry them out in the oven, dehydrate them. So if they're overly hydrated, we can, you know, bake them longer. So I have the oven set at 350. You have to have spatulas. Like when I was visiting my mom one year and she wanted me to make stuff, she always loves when I cook for her. I'm like, mom, you need a rubber spatula. So we went to the store and we bought some things, but really that's like the critical thing when you're baking, because you want to be able to scrape out every last little bit in your bowl. You shouldn't waste any of it. Spatulas are great for that. Also for when you make smoothies, you wanna scrape your, um, your blender so you get all your good ingredients into your body and not in the blender or down the drain. I also just, you know, a lot of people will just put water in the blender too and just mix it up. So that's another option, of course. Or like when your peanut butter jar is at the end or your almond butter jar and you wanna scrape out every last bit. Spatulas are great for that. It smells really good though. Let's add a little soy milk. I'm excited to do my little sliders today. And I think I'm gonna try to do some cleans. I haven't done cleans in a while, and that's what really gave me my good core last year. Before I moved to California, I lived in Ocean City, Maryland, but I'm from Pennsylvania. And I was an extra in the movie, The Wedding Crashers. It was filmed in St. Michael's, Maryland. The wedding scene, the, um, you know, the big wedding reception. So I was in that, and I'm actually in the trailer, but you have to, you'd have to know where to find me. I'll, maybe I'll, oh, I'll clip it in here. I got to hang out with Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson talked to me and I've actually run into him since and he was kind of like, why are you talking to me? But I made cookies for the whole staff one day and the director of photography was Elizabeth Perkins' husband and I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name. I just remember that he was married to her and I remember him walk, running around to everybody being like, did you taste these cookies? These are like the best cookies ever. And I was, I didn't tell him I made them, but I was like really flattered. Back then I was really shy, so. Nowadays, I would have probably been like, that was me. Thank you. With uh, age, we gain confidence, I think. That's why I was able to ask Conor McGregor for a photograph. I'm like, hey, can I have a picture? And they're like, sure. Got my blueberries. I already have my muffin tins um, oiled. And I'm going to use like third cup measuring cups to put them in here. So yesterday when um, Connor was he was walking out his front door. He was going to rent a bike. I'm gonna get on my bike too. 
I thought they were going to be like heading down the path towards Malibu because it's like a quieter way. But then I'm like, but there's nothing down there. So anyway, I got on my bike and rode. At least I got a bike ride at sunset. It's something I used to do all the time. And I don't know, I'm just let my job get in my way like most people. Like I'm active, but I used to even be more active. And that's probably one reason why I got my own little muffin top going on. So think about all your little daily activities. And it's, I mean, I grew up pretty active, like walking everywhere. I used to run a ton and I stopped doing that too. So it's like, whew, that, you know, it adds up. And it's why we gain weight as we get older is we are like, um, we are naturally less active. I mean, we lose muscle. Of course, losing muscle equates to less metabolic tissue, but I really feel like it's like we're curtailing our activity along the way, little by little. You don't think about it, you know, of course, like you get busier and you just make time for, you know, the priorities, like getting your bills paid and all that. When you're younger, you're a little more carefree about some of that stuff, or maybe you haven't accumulated as much debt when you're younger, so you don't have as many bills. So it just depends, but health is the most important thing. Health is wealth. Daughters of Blueberry. Sorry, I love Willy Wonka. There's a girl I work with and her name is Violet. And as soon as I met her, Violet, you're hurting Violet, Violet. She started laughing. She's in the oven for, let's start with 30 minutes. I think it's 40, but I'm gonna start with 30. Maybe 25, but okay. I forgot my muffin song. So in one of my muffin videos, I sing the muffin song. Do you know the muffin man? The muffin man, the muffin man. These slider things are fun. You should know the muffin man who dwells on Drury Lane. Instead of waiting for my muffins to be done and then having to put more in and I, I don't think I quite have enough for 12 more muffins I'm just gonna take the rest of my batter and put it in one of my little Le Creuset six weeks until the LA Marathon and I wasn't I didn't plan on running it but I'm thinking about it I've created um my own healthy sports drink because I studied sports nutrition in under well mostly in grad school and um, so I know how to formulate the sports drink for the right potassium sodium carbohydrates and now new research has shown they are adding protein. So I'm even adding protein to my new s formulation. So I've been doing the math um, as to how much, how much of a replacement drink I'm gonna need, how much carbohydrate you need per hour, how much fluid you need per hour. Um, I'm doing the calculation based on how many miles I'm gonna run. And I'm not a fast runner when it comes to distance, I'm much slower. So anyway, and then how much, plain water on need. So I bought a, a double bladder, um, hydration pack from Amazon with a new, like with a new backpack, another backpack so that I can have all of my hydration and carbs in one, you know, one element. I'm using, I made my own schedule. I found a six week schedule, but then I modified it based on like what time, you know, how much time I have depending on the day and their schedules were like four and six and my run to the gym is three miles. And then if I add the, the path up top above the beach, it's four miles. So I can do seven one day and three one day instead of four and six, same difference. It adds up to 10. My muffins are done in 30 minutes was perfect. Um, they were not as moist as most of the ones I make, but they're actually really good and they have a nice density to them. Great flavor, the brown sugar on top really makes a difference. Lots of blueberries. So there you go. This is a little package I'm going to either give to um, Connor if I see him or I'll just give it to the valet guys in my building or to his bodyguards. I have more. I'm going to give some to both the bodyguards and the valet guys because I have a little muffin cake for me for later if I want. Okay, so I'm going to go to the gym and go for a run and go to work. And I will post this later.